Okay. So at the request of one of my viewers um, who watched the spindle replacement video that we posted a couple months back on the Bad Boy Maverick, he has a Bad Boy Elite, and apparently he checked his spindles using the same methodology that was described in that video and said he had two out of the three that were bad. So he contacted Bad Boy because um, he said he had 30 hours on his mower, and of course they're going back and forth as far as who's responsible and whether it's a warranty thing, whatnot. Um, I to say this, the general consensus is these things are certainly easy to work on. They should not intimidate you, but I don't know. <laughs> I definitely don't think they're as durable uh, as the um, as greaseless, um, or I'm sorry, as greasable spindles. I'm not. I haven't been impressed so far. Uh, so that being said, to get to this point. I don't, I'm not going to cover this in the video, but basically just remove your uh, spindle covers on your deck. Easy enough. Just wrench that out. To get the belt off, um, you'll sit there and you'll just pull up on the belt and then turn the pulley. And that belt will just fold right off and then you can get to your belts. When you're taking the pulley out, of course, you're going to have to come in there um, on these pulleys, on at least the bad boy. It is not a through bolt, so you have to unbolt the blade then unbolt the pulley from the top. Once you unbolt the pulley, um, you'll have to remove the little lock collar nut. Again, all of this we went over in that other video. So we're just kind of assuming that you've watched that other video. If you haven't already, go watch that bad boy um, spindle replacement video. So here we have the spindle. And this could not be easier. When you see one of these opened up, you realize how simple this is. So our first step is going to be taking an Allen key, and we're going to remove this, this collar here. So once we've got that collar removed, this is the top of our spindle. You can see where that lock washer was. This entire assembly with possibly a little bit of coaxing, this is, this is our blade end here, this is our pulley end, will come and just slide on out of there. And I'd encourage, you know, there's no reason not to grease this, but that's it. So that exposes our spindle. And all this is, is just a big hollow piece of metal with a little collar in between and your two bearings that just sit right here and right here. This is literally, this is it. So, you know, you could use yourself a brass punch or something that might be a little bit less awkward. But basically, all you have to do is stick a screwdriver through there to the other one. These bearings are just pressed in there. I'm sure someone will tell me this is wrong, but it worked for me just fine and just give them some love taps. Key is to make sure that, that that screwdriver is coming down on the metal part of that bearing and not coming down on the actual urethane gasket that's holding the actual bearing together. Okay, oops. So again, when I was coming in there, just to give you, show you what I was doing there, um, sitting there, and you want to make sure that your screwdriver is not coming in contact with that urethane. Uh, so I put the screwdriver in, it's kind of sideways. And you know, longer screwdrivers make this easier, um, but just a good tap, got that out, and that's it. That's it. That's all that your, that your spindle housing is. The big hollow tube with two of these bearings. Now, for the bearings, I went online and looked this up. Um, the packaging says it's a 6206-2RSC3. That's what the packaging says. But when you actually look at the bearing, there is some writing on here, which I don't think the camera can see. But this bearing is actually a 620 6 RS so I don't know where that 2 comes into play or that C3 but this bearing even though it came in this bag this is what's printed on the side of the bearing this is supposedly a higher grade bearing than the stock bearing that you used so you basically repeat the process and now you'd punch out that one right there and just put again putting it on that ring and just ding 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 hammer it out 
Okay, so when it comes time to put the bearing back in, all you're gonna do is take this spacer, put that spacer in there. It does, it's loose. The bolt's gonna hold that in there. Now we're just gonna take our bearing, put that there on top. Then we're just gonna take something like a two by four, something, you take a little bit of beating, but it kind of takes the impact, cushions it, and basically is going to apply even force. Now, obviously, I can't hammer this in on this table, but we're going to put this on the floor, so I'll be right back. We're just going to hammer that in off camera. Now, that takes a little bit of love, as you could hear, but now we've got that in there, and literally it's just reverse process to put it all back together again. It's our business end of the spindle down by the blades. Getting this lined up is the key. That just slides right on in. Our lock collar goes right back on. And voila, you just rebuilt a non-greasable spindle. I mean, that is literally it. Don't let it intimidate you.